All right, I'm going to attempt to get it right for one of the first times in 2019. I'm gonna to try to get my recording on the camera that you see here and the recording on my game. And I'm gonna to try to get them both for one video. I know it's a very novel concept, but I think I can do this. It's not my first time, although it kind of feels like it after the last couple days of videos. So, I believe I am up and running. Hopefully, let's see. Hopefully there is, I always, I can, I can never remember where things are. Like, I think if I put a link to something, it goes here. So that would mean hopefully right now, right here, hopefully you, you see me in a park and you see this uh, car Carnotaurus off in the distance. I, I hope that this is working properly. But anyway, as you can see, I do have a 15 minute incubator ready to go. I've already started cooking on my three hour incubator. Um, oh, that was actually, I'm in a park. Maybe what I should do is, since they're so plentiful at this point, I don't want the leaderboard. Since they're so plentiful at this point, I think I might as well pop open a scent capsule. Hopefully I get some more Dilophosaurus Gen 2. No, that's an Undesuchus. But that's irrelevant. I'm just going to have that going on in the background while I'm talking about what I'm going to do for today's video. And what I want to see is I want to test something. A lot of times people get bored playing the same old dinosaurs over and over and over. So what I want to see is, can you run a team of stunning dinosaurs to victory? That seems like a pretty pretty simple challenge here. Stunning dinosaurs. So I'm definitely going to have to go in and modify. The first one I'm going to put in is I'm going to put in Dilaranosaurus. Dilaranosaurus has superior strike, distracting strike, greater stunning rampage. Good enough for me. Um, I can leave my Dilorochiris in because, again, greater stunning rampage. Stegodius, you do not have a stunning move, so you've got to go. And I'm going to put in Stegoceratops, which has two stunning moves. Now, remember with the uh, release of version 1.5, you can no longer have three stunning moves on a dinosaur. So there you go. We've, we've got two is the most that we can have. I love Thor. I think it's a great dinosaur. It does not have any stunning moves. So I'm going to swap it out for Paramoloch, which actually is, is a nice beefy tanky. If you remember from yesterday's video, it's a tanky dinosaur and it has two stun moves. Unfortunately, Indoraptor does not have any stunning moves. So I'm not going to use it. Um, I think I can put in... I think all of the Utah Sinos, I think they all have stun. Instant charge is a potential to stun, which means I can actually put Thor, I'm gonna get flamed, because you guys are gonna say before you get to this point in the video, you're gonna say, no, you took out Thor, it has stun, and I just realized that. Delta, I've got a lot of mess in Delta, but Delta's gotta go. Now I could put in Alan, Alan, Alo Sino, because it does have a stun, but maybe I have something better. Maybe not though. Ooh, Monostego has a stun and is a, is a good, well-rounded dinosaur. And then that's going to bring... I don't want to get too heavy on... Like, because I could, I could go... I could go Dracoceratops. I don't know. What should my last stunning dinosaur be? Allocino for the chomp. I'm going to go Allocino. Okay, so now that that is done, I'm going to level up my Monostego to 19 just to give me a fighting chance here. And I, I with all the Monolophosaurus I got yesterday, let's see, I need 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, and it looks like I have almost 8, so it's probably not going to work. I'm going to go ahead and save it. No need to waste it for this video. I've got two openings. I'm going to do three battles. I'm gonna see if I can stun my way to victory or get a stunning victory. You see what I did there? That's a terrible joke, like horrible. Also, 
it's like 64 degrees here in Southern California today and I'm in the shade so it's a little bit cooler than than what is probably out in the Sun for sure and I have my my Ludia toque on again today remember I am giving away two of these one is if you go to my discord one is if you go to Twitter the rules are the same you have to either follow or subscribe depending on which platform we're talking about here but then show me an AR photo from Jurassic World Alive which shows why you need a toque it is the winter and I can't find an opponent but it is the winter it is cold in a lot of places that aren't called Southern California where you know sometimes I could use it in the evening probably for sure but since I do most of my recordings during the day I typically don't need a toque luckily they Ludia just gave me three I don't know where you can buy them I got a lot of people asking me where can I buy this toque and I don't know I like I didn't ask for it I haven't seen a shop I didn't buy it it was just sent to me so I'm gonna cancel this out and see if I can find an opponent so I don't know uh, if you are interested in buying this and I do have a baseball cap that I wear more often than I will probably wear the toque uh, email Ludia, ask them. Maybe they have a store that I just don't know about. Maybe maybe they'll hook you up and send you one if you tell them that Pokey Fodder said you could have one. I don't know. <laughs> that really isn't going to go very far at all, but it's worth a try. Um, so starting off, I'm actually going to start off with Stegoceratops. I don't know why. And I'm going to go for the deceleration. I'm going to get hit with a 33% losing health here so hopefully by going first i'm hoping that my bigger stun move knocks him out and it looks like it looks like i'm gonna be good here um my guess is that they swap out they do not the math was correct i appreciate that and i'm up 1-0 already off to a good start and i haven't stunned a dinosaur yet I haven't needed to Indoraptor is going to be another story. This is going to prove to be rather difficult for me. Uh, easy, easy knockout there. And that presents a little bit of a problem. Because um, I'm going to go with Allocino. I don't really have a whole lot that can take much damage, relatively speaking. Like if, if my opponent's Indo would have hit crit there. I'd have been done for. Now I'm hoping that with my instant charge, I'm hoping. What I want to do is I want to set up Paramolock actually. So if I hit and don't knock it out, I hope that's perfect. That's actually okay. I'm I'm completely okay with this because now Indoraptor is going to go. It's going to knock me out. I'm going to have to rely on Paramolock. God, that'd have been great. If I could have gotten one extra hit in there. But I'm going to have to rely on Paramolok hitting through Evasive. And then slide over into Dilokire, uh, Diloranosaurus. And the Evasive stance is, is gone. So I should be good here. Now I have a couple of options. I can go for the 75%. Which I think is what I'm going to try to do. Oh no. Oh, I have instant. I can get a stun here. Okay, that was good. Ah, this is bad news for me though because I think I lost. I don't think I can survive two attacks and I'm going to have to eat two attacks here from Pyro. That's not good. I was so close. I was so, so close. Ouch. All right, so 0 for 1. But I am going to be able to open my daily. Now, remember on these dailies, they used to reset 24 hours after you started the first battle. Now they reset at a specific time. It's sometime overnight for me in Southern California because I never know when it happens. I just know when I wake up, it's ready to go for its next round. Um... One loss. I'm going to try this again. I guess I should be checking just to make sure that my camera is recording. I think we're good. And as soon as this reloads, 
we're gonna jump into battle number two. What could I have done differently in that last battle? Um, I don't know. Maybe Dilleranosaurus could have come out somewhere. The problem is, is I'm high enough in the ranks that going against unique dinosaurs, they're, they're gonna hit just a little bit too hard for what my stunners can withstand for the most part. And I'm gonna open with Dilleranosaurus this time. Maybe that was my, maybe I just opened with the wrong dinosaur. Although, I mean, Stegoceratops did well. Maybe Dracoceratops, if it were leveled up higher, would be a good option here because of the swap-in stun. And again, Spinosaurus or Spinotosuchus. Okay, so I'm gonna go first. Not first, I'm gonna go with Superiority Strike which is gonna give me the lead after turn one. And this is why you really need a rounded team and, and you, at this point in time with the meta the way it is, you really need a an immune dinosaur and that's why I like actually leading with immune dinosaurs. Just because so many people like to lead with Spino and they, they like to try to bleed you out, so like don't lead with a tank. That's maybe the worst thing that you can do. Uh, I'm gonna take another pretty big hit here, and then I'm gonna get knocked out, which is okay, because then that's gonna set up my Dilo or Kyrus to go first, get the knockout, and then that's really gonna set me up nicely for Monostegosaurus, I hope. So I, I am going to get to go first here. Let's see. No matter what my opponent does, I'm going to be set up nice. Dilo, Kyrosaurus, Dilo, Kyrus, however, I don't know. Dilo. Uh, it's a dinosaur that needs one turn setup. And this doesn't even matter. Um, to be really effective. But once you get it, that one turn setup, it can really change the momentum of a game for you. So keep that in mind. Uh, definitely gonna go here. My opponent's probably gonna do superiority strike to try to get Ha! Ah, I missed the dodge and that is bad As much as I like to believe it's a hundred percent the dodge. It's actually not Um, I'm gonna go ahead Man that upsets me It's fine. I'm gonna knock him out her out and then I'm gonna swap into a new dinosaur I would have loved to have gotten a stun on the turn previous, it just would have set me up so much better. Like I could have like gone through a cycle and a half, knocked out a dinosaur and a half instead of just knock out one and even the field, I probably could have taken the lead. Uh, what am I gonna do here? I, I think I just have to go with slow. I, th I think that's what I'm gonna have to do here. Hopefully, my opponent doesn't use Dilo against me the way that I wanted to use it against him or her. I think my best play here is going to be to go for the 75% stun. I do have two turns of going first. This could be good. I, I think I pretty much get the knockout here, which would be great for me. If I can get rid of that dinosaur, I'm... I'm, I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling good about my situation. I'm starting to think maybe my opponent isn't there anymore because did it time out two times in a row? To do superior strike, I wasn't paying enough attention. I'm too busy trying to focus on talking to you guys, think about what I'm doing to notice. Defense shattering impact hurts. Okay, so my opponent is there. I can't survive. Here's the problem is their instant charge is set up and I can't survive with Dilo. So I'm gonna have to survive it here. I, I might lose this one again. <sighs> I really feel like I could have won that. I really feel like I should have won that. Uh, battle number three, I'm already 0-2, so this is definitely going to be a thumbs down for can you run st stun dinosaurs, primarily focusing on stun. Even though 
I have a well-rounded team as far as I have some speed. I have some tanks. I have some chompers that all have stun in them. Maybe it's just I'm playing it wrong. Maybe I'm just getting unlucky. But the truth of the matter is, is it's not working. So for whatever reason, and I'd like to have you to Rhinex, that's that is probably the best stunner that you can have in a dinosaur just because the dinosaur is so good. Uh, I'm going to get hit with instant charge here. Hopefully I don't get stunned. But I did. The good news is, is I get to go first here. I'm probably going to get knocked out, but hopefully that will set me up for my Dilokyrus and Maybe I can take advantage of it this time instead of not stunning. Maybe. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. And honestly, if hope is part of the equation for your win, uh, you're probably not in a good spot because hope should never be part of that equation. Okay. So I've got the setup that I wanted here. Tora Moloch. I don't have really any experience against Tora Moloch, but I think I should just go for impact and run. And that's gonna give me the knockout. It's gonna put me up 2-0. I've taken out Uterinex, which is a pain. I don't know anything about Tora Moloch really, although I'm sure it has a stun as well because it is a unique off of Paramoloch. You know, I've said this before, but I think I have a chance to win here. <laughs> you guys have heard that though before, right? Uh, definitely going to go with stun here. And my stun has been hitting pretty consistently. If you're running a, a stun themed team as, as I am, and you're not stunning, you're in a world of hurt. Okay. So my opponent's going to go first here. I've already done a ton of damage to probably their best tank. Ooh, and I survived that. That was big. That was big. I think I'm going first again. Which means... Ooh. All of my things are still on cooldown. That's unfortunate. But okay. Okay. Now I think I can bring in Dilokyrus and force my opponent to swap out of Stegodius, which that should be victory. That should be victory because unless they have something that comes in that's faster ooh, or is immune with cloak. <laughs> oh, so it's not over yet. I have to land. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go for my stun move because it's going to do enough damage to knock it out. And then, no matter what, I'm just going to go with impact and run. I hope that one of the two lands through the cloak. If they do, I win. If they don't, I go 0-3. One and done. Perfect. So, not, not the, the best showing, but definitely not the worst showing. I only gained 17 trophies, so that's not really all that great. But, there you go. Let me know, what kind of theme deck do you want to run? Or do you think I should run? And remember, I, I don't have every dinosaur. Mostly uniques I don't have. But for the most part, you want a well-rounded deck. And as far as themes go, off the top of my head, stun is the best theme that you can run in this game just because of the versatility. Uh, like I mentioned before, you have two tanks, I would say, in the, in the Stegos. You have two chompers in the Thorak, Thor, 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 and Thor and the Utah Sino. Then you have the, uh, or Allo Sino. Then you have the Utah Sino, you have the two Dilos, and then you have Paramolok. That's a pretty well-rounded deck. In fact, I'm gonna say that if you leveled these up decently, you know, so whatever your team level is, if these were all in that area, I actually think that this would be a very impressive squad. Just, just looking at it on paper, you got speed, you got tanks, 
you got chompers, you got impact and run. The only thing you don't have is immunity. And off the top of my head, I don't think there are any immune, immune dinosaurs that also stun. So, there you go. I think today's video worked. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. Remember, uh, contest to give away two of the Ludia Tukes. That's all I've got for today. So, until next time. Thank you.